My name is Marie and this is Margot. I'm here today to ask you for £60,000 in return for 20% of my company. Billy Embargo is the first company in the UK to produce and sell iced treats for dogs. It all began some time ago with Billy, our first pet Labrador. In the summer, we often had an ice cream van come and stop outside. It didn't take him long to recognise the van's tune and associated with his favourite treat. Billy and Margot were released at Crufts for the first time with our first two flavours. We have found a manufacturer, agreed terms with a national distributor and we have recruited a number of retail partners. So, Marie, tell, tell me a little bit about the business because you've said you've got a national distributor. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? They have agreed to take pallets of the product and deliver to the retailers that I have recruited. Have they given you an order? Uh, they have. It's about 6,000 units, which is approximately uh, just under £5,000. My last question, um, what would that cost in a retail store? £2.99. Wow. But it's very much in line with um, dog treats. I'm sorry, I think this is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. It really is something that you have wasted nine months on. You can waste more time on it. You are wasting your time on this. There's no margin in it. There's no money in it. It's not going to sell. I'm out. Thank you. Do you have any information, financial information, on a potential competitor? No, because I have no competitor. No one else is doing it. I want to be completely unique, which is what this is. But how do you know you can make money doing that? Um, You've got nobody is, to benchmark against. No, there is a very similar concept in, in the US. Nestle launched in the US about four years ago something called Frosty Paws. It's a very similar concept. Do you know their but, revenue? Uh, do you know their profitability? Unfortunately, their, their information being in the US, I, I, I haven't been able to access their figures. Do you see the problem, Marie? Is yes, that I understand. You're pitching something where actually you don't really understand the marketplace you're entering. Your knowledge is exceptionally weak. You've done no real market research. No, I did all that. But you, no, you didn't. No, I did. So I did my market research. Market research to you might be the product and what they're selling. Market mm -hmm. research to me as an investor mm -hmm. is pounds, shillings and pence. Sure. Dragons are here. I'm here to invest. Of course you are. And you haven't managed to convince me or excite me. I very much doubt if it's going to be a big business. So I'm going to wish you luck and say I'm out. Thank you, Theo. I disagree entirely with what Peter, Duncan and Theo have said. Thank you. And I think you are onto something. And I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you the full 60K, but I'd like 30% of the business. I am staggered at the amount of money spent on animal treats. So I like this and I think there's a market. There's definitely a gap and there are acquirers out there looking for brand to, to own market share. So the market conditions are right for a reasonably short growth, turnaround, exit. So I have a very clear vision of what we could do with this. And I am very well acquainted with a brand that has been through a very similar route. So I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you 60,000 pounds, but I want 40% of the business. May I take just a few seconds just to... Um, I'm incredibly grateful for both your offers, um, considering what um, you've all said um, before. And um, I would like to accept um, your offer. Excellent.